Let's take a moment to thank God for what He's done. Let's take a moment to thank Him for sending His Son. So many blessings. What's up, everybody? It's Roy Moy the Third. Welcome to another episode of Life of the Third. Happy New Year, everybody! I'm so glad to be with you in this new year, 2019. So much happened last year. Thank you for joining me on the journey as we started the Life of the Third vlog last year. This year, more to come. So many exciting things. I want to catch y'all up on what happened over break, Christmas break. Had a phenomenal Christmas, opened up a lot of presents, um, gave out a lot of presents, spent time with family. It was great. Right after Christmas, I jumped on a plane and flew to Houston, Texas. Got to visit family who live in Spring, Texas, which is like 45 minutes um, north of the central city of Houston. And I want to shout out my friend Yasi Fadami for just making sure my trip in Houston was amazing because y'all, I didn't realize how big Houston is. Um, so I ended up needing to get a hotel, rental car, all this stuff, and um, she really helped me out even with food places and just time-wise, like how much time it would take to drive here, drive there. So thank you, Miss Fadavi. But I had a great time, visited uh, with family that I hadn't seen in about 10 years. You know, you see each other on Facebook, but we hadn't seen, seen each other in person about 10 years and so that was really fun I uh, got to sing with my cousins even a little bit and um, and then drove to Corpus Christi to meet up with uh, my, my brothers Petey I actually just met Petey when I went down there and then real and uh, we shot a music video together for a song called Gloria which um, I'm singing the chorus and they're doing their verses and it's, it's a dope song I can't wait for you guys to hear it look for it in March of this year had a great time shot a music video tried menudo which was like crazy because it's like pig stomach I was not ready for that but had a great time down there did a photo shoot so uh, a lot of the new graphics you guys are gonna see this year are coming from uh, that photo shoot in Corpus Christi so shout out to real for that and um, you know got to hang out with them, ate a huge uh, burrito while I was down there at Chacho's Tacos. It really was a taco, but it looked like, I don't even know, it was huge, it was crazy. Um, but ended up having a good time, and then went back to Houston, and then got to experience the highlight of the entire trip, which is why I'm wearing this orange pullover, whatever you, windbreak, whatever you wanna call it, because you see that? NASA. So I got to go to NASA, your boy. Oh my gosh. The kid went to NASA. I was so excited to go. Um, this is a NASA Vans collaboration. I have my uh, orange NASA shoes, which y'all be able to see a picture of those as I'm talking, um, that I got to wear. And I just had the time of my life, okay? It was like a kid in a candy store. The kid went to NASA. Um, I did bring back some things, souvenirs and stuff, so I wanna show y'all a little bit. Uh, got this dope NASA hat, um, so you'll see me wearing this from here. Uh, here and there, uh, love it. Got me NASA Johnson Space Center cup, love it. Also got another cup that says it's not rocket science and then in uh, parentheses it says, oh wait, yes it is. And that's at my job, so I use that as my uh, tea mug at work now. I got Chasing Space by Leland Melvin, um, black astronaut. Dope role model. I remember watching space shuttle launches as a kid, staying up all hours of the night, watching on NASA TV, and just watching space shuttle launch preparation. Sometimes space shuttles would get canceled, and it's like four in the morning, and I'm like, oh, I stayed up and it got canceled. That's a big part of my childhood, a big part of growing up. This book, though, Chasing Space, incredible read. I'm not like an avid reader, uh, but I try to read you know, every now and then. My goal, actually, this year is to read um, a book every two months. That's just my goal. Great uh, book to start out that goal with. And by the way, I read this book 234 pages in four days. I've never read a book that fast, but I think I just related to it so well because, um, you know, being an aerospace engineer, a lot of stuff that he's talking about in this book in regards to school, coursework, and stuff like that, I've done or I've experienced. And so it's like, wow, I can relate to that. But then also just the love of, of space or the love of aircraft and um, you know, getting to hear all his stories, but then he's got some deep stuff in here too. Uh, it was a well-rounded um, story. So if you want a good book to read, check out Chasing Space by Leland Melvin. Had a great time at NASA and um, it was a dream come true, like for real. So y'all be able to see some pictures and all that. So, so take a look at everything that I got to do over this break. What's up y'all, what's up? Life of the third, we are getting closer. Can you see the water? Can you see the homes? Beach homes over there. 
um, we are super close to Corpus Christi, uh, probably 30 minutes away. So I'm excited. I will check in once we get there. Corpus Christi, here we come. Peace, life of the third. I'm gonna be okay. It's rainy, but I do not care. I'm like, I'm here. So I'm at the NASA Space Center in Houston, Texas, having a great time. All right, so I hope you enjoyed all of that. It's time to get in the word. We always gotta get in the word because I don't know if you had a chance to get in the word today. One short little verse in Proverbs, Proverbs 21, verse two. Um, it says, every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth hearts. I'll read it again. Every way of man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth hearts. This stood out to me. I'm studying Proverbs right now, by the way, but this stood out to me because um, a lot of times I'm still talking about myself, you know, I'm like, man, yeah, I'm doing the right thing or I have the right mindset or I have the right intention, um, doing whatever it is I'm doing, whether it's ministering at a concert or just doing day to day stuff. But it's good to see that second part of the verse where it says the Lord pondereth hearts. He's searching our heart. He's looking inside of us. You know, everybody, you know, can see us on the outside and we can try and make it seem like we're trying to do stuff with good intentions or whatever it is, you know, I can try and, and say that I am. God is really looking in inside at my heart and like, what is my heart attitude? And so it was just a little quick reminder of like, okay, you know, as I'm going through this year and progressing through this year, let me make sure that my heart attitude is lining up with the word of God. Let me make sure that, that my intentions are really um, the best possible intentions for whatever it is I'm doing, whether I'm at work, whether I'm driving, whether I'm, you know, doing a concert, ministry, whatever the case may be. Um, just make sure that I have uh, the, the right heart, you know, because whatever is in our heart, it eventually comes out and it says that in the word as well. I just thought it was a good reminder. So hopefully it's that short. I know it's quick. Hopefully that is something that resonates with you or just kind of reminds you of like, you know, God knows, you know, everybody says only God can judge me. That's such a true statement. Like he really can because he knows everything about us and he can see what's in our heart. Um, unlike many, you know, uh, people, we can't really see what what's in everybody else's heart. So that's the word for the day. And then I just want to uh, close it out by just saying um, thank you guys so much for all your support in 2018. Man, what an incredible year just to expand um, the brand and um, do more shows and just to you know get to be out in front of many of you all um, singing. And so I thank you so much you know for supporting the music video, Hallelujah Slide, and just everything that we did. And so this year, I'm so excited that I have one more song that I need to record for the new project, which is titled Plans For Me. Look for that in March. I'm really trying to put this project out in March. I'm very excited about it. I'm like, we're beginning to mix songs. Shout out to Corey Young C, my producer. We're beginning to mix songs. We're beginning to like piece stuff together. And it's just like, wow, the lyrics that God has pulled out of me, the sound that God has pulled out of me. Um, I, I really think you guys are gonna appreciate it. I really think you guys are gonna see the growth um, and the depth, you know, I'm really trying to uh, take some uh, uh, steps to, to go a little deeper, you know, and that's hard as an artist, right? Because you got to be vulnerable, but that's the best thing that you can do because I know that we all are going through stuff. And so the more I can share, um, hopefully it allows others to be able to see like, you know what? 
he can't do it on his own. He's got to have Christ, so maybe I, I need to try Christ, you know? Yeah, I'm excited about that project. If you want to join me on this journey, feel free to follow me on Instagram at RoyT3. Uh, my website is www.RoyMoy3Music.com. And every other social media platform is Roy Moy the Third. R O Y M O Y E capital I, I, I. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and I hope y'all have a phenomenal year. Work hard, set those goals, make sure that they're attainable. But at the same time, you might pick some goals that are like way out there. You know, you never know. Um, but thank you for joining me on this journey. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Life of the Third. My God is great. Peace.